have a curated selection of products from over 30 local and overseas brands. Discover the best of what's out there all in one place. Head over to the Stack Store now and refresh your home. There's no particular style that I go for in any design. It is more of design according to the needs of the person who occupies the space. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an architect and I also run a cafe with two other good friends. This is along Bukit Batu West Avenue 9. It is a two-room BTO flat of 47 meters square. The first thing that I do here is to remove internal drywall partition that separates the existing living, dining and the bedroom. By removing this wall, it opens up opportunities and possibilities to craft the space according to what I would like to use it as. It is a peaceful and quiet neighbourhood. It is definitely far from the city centre, but I get this feeling of leaving the city behind as I go home. Since it's a personal project, I start to question myself whether it is possible to break away from the norm of a typical flat unit, where spaces are defined by four walls to form rooms to house different functions. For the kitchen, I chose a pink pastel colour. It is perhaps not so commonly used in kitchen, but I chose that colour because I wanted to retain the existing finishes that was given to me when I was handed over the unit. The carpentry were custom made, finished with the quartz top, which is light in colour, to make compatible with the pastel pink kitchen carpentry and the wall finish colour. At the entrance, after the shoe storage area, I have this big sliding panel. When there's a need, I can actually segregate the utilitarian spaces with the main living space. Behind the door, also a separate storage space where I can keep my yoga mats and my gym equipment. Continuing on is four panel of full height sliding door where the wardrobe system is installed behind. A hanging system allows flexibility over time. When my lifestyle change, I can always update the system. The main element of the house is this platform. Other than housing the bed, it is also extending towards the study, forming a sitting area and some steps which also form the sitting area. When I'm alone, I use this space as a reading space, listening to the music or to look out to the forest across the street. And during gatherings, people find their own sitting area on the steps or other parts of the platform and everyone gathers in this central area. By introducing a screen, it defines a certain sense of privacy towards the bed area. The bed head design, the screen design and the sliding panel shares the same language of vertical elements. This is a strategy to increase the volume of the small space. I particularly like this screen because when lights come through, it forms interesting shadow on the ceiling and on the floor. To create more spaciousness inside a small unit, I feel that this piece of furniture actually fits the bill. It doubles up as a dining table as well as a living room furniture. Because the height is lower, it gives a feeling of you're sitting on a sofa set. My favourite colour is maroon or burgundy colour because it exudes a warm feeling. For me, that's colour of happiness as well. When I come home to a warm space, it helps me to feel relaxed after a long day of work. There's no sofa and there's no TV wall in this home. I feel that it's useful for me to go through my books and to read them one by one. The bathroom and the kitchen actually shares the same intention, to retain the existing finishes, to minimise waste and to bring down the hacking costs. For the bathroom, simple colour palettes of light wooden finishes and simple geometry. Mostly curved basin and a curved mirror to make the space more harmonious and comfortable. For a two-room flat, it seems small, 
you start to think about what is the meaning of compact living and how to make it comfortable. One way to do it is to open up the space, to blur up the boundaries so that you do not have underutilized spaces. Thanks for staying till the end. If you'd like to connect with the designer of this home, visit the link in the description below and find out how you can receive a complimentary $500 Dexto voucher.